What's up, everybody? This is Cardfight Destiny here to do a deck profiling uh, featuring a very special guest. It's me! No, I'm so no nice. one would know you, though, because this Nobody is my channel. Nobody cares either. This is Frost the Blizzard, my cousin, and we're here to feature his current tournament deck. Yay! Well, it's until I fight Link Joker and then I, and then I cry a little bit. But anyway, here is our good old Flip your starter. Our Yu Gi Oh! Normal dice they, 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 they know about the uh, they know about the backings. I've explained it before in previous videos. Yeah. You're you're the you're the you're the idea for these kinds of backings that I do. I'm brilliant. <laughs> anyway, so what we got here is our good old buddy Frostosaurus, Frost the Blizzard running the dinosaurs and Frostosaurus. So beautiful circumstances. Anyway, and he is also our good buddy Starter. Here, oh god, here we go. Yeah, Baby Rex, our good old. You know, Tachikaze, Ancient Dragon, baby T-Rex with dual miniguns for arms, because dual miniguns. I explain what he does a little bit. Well, basically what he does, he, he gets eaten, and then he, he explodes and grows up. So, for those of you who don't know, basically when he's sent to the drop zone from Greer Circle, and that includes retiring him and sending him to the drop zone, so you can do all kinds of dumb crap with that. We'll get to that a little later. You kind of blast one, and you summon your good, one of your good old boss monsters, Ancient Dragon, Tyranno Legend. Which we'll get to what he does later. Because the legend never dies. So, he's our good old starter, good 5k booster, and he, he does his thing. Moving on to your triggers? Well, that, uh, was, uh, no, I'll explain the triggers next, uh, uh, last. So, right. starting off, we have our good old four copies of Spino Driver, and he shoots spines at people's. And when somebody rides over him, he omnoms two of your, you know, dinosaur buddies, and he gives the your main dinosaur buddy 10k and a crit. Go, going to anyone who knows uh, Tokusatsu, hello Tobaspino. So yeah, that's a call. Every time you break a ride, you actually omnom. So for 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 the sake of conversation, omnom. So after that, you break ride with our good old buddy Tyranno Legend, and Tyranno Legend basically does all the heavy lifting of the deck because the legend never dies. What he does, you can uh, eat three of your ancient dragon buddies, and he gets plus 10k in a crit. Now he combos very well with uh, him set his baby form and all kinds of other random stuff. And also, if you're bored, you can counterblast two and give him plus 5k so they can perfect guard you, and you can feel sad because you counterblasted two. Counterblast two ancient dragons to be exact. Yeah, counterblast two because subclan specifics. And we run three of him. Because three of them is cool. And big old number f number eight of your grade threes? Number eight is our stupid buddy. What is his name? Oh, yeah. Destruction Dragon Dark Rex, because 10k vanguards are cool. And he's also nice to do because you can do the wombo combo when you break ride, over the break ride, and then you summon it from your hand. Basically, his effect is you um, uh, eat three of your units and you can uh, superior ride him from the bind zone. He's also there from it for a nice pressure because when you because all you have to do is put him in the bind zone, give a rear guard uh, give any of your units an extra three K power, and make your opponent sweat the whole time as you sit on the brake ride. Yeah, it's, it's fun to do, but it's, I wind up not doing it too often because the second I bind them, they're like, Oh, I'll let that attack hit I'm like, really? <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, that's the plan with him. Basically, you, you have a little bit of options, but mostly it just goes into um, uh, riding into our good old buddy Tyran Legend, because the legend never dies. But you can pull off some stupid numbers with this thing. Like, I remember one time, I am, uh, the, they rushed me, and I broke road uh, Sp uh, Tyran Legend over Spino Driver. So it's plus 10, it's 21k in a crit by himself. And then um, uh, I did his effect, because I was going to lose super hard. Whereas then he was like 31k, 3 crit by himself. And the dude said two to pass, and I blasted him with like five. I got like a crit trigger and like a draw trigger. Was this our good old loving, sweaty, freaking uh, tournament double box tournament? No, no, it was just normal locals. So oh, I mean, right. he got blasted with like forty. It was like fifty-one k, like two, like five crit or some shit. Uh, I mean, he was so sad. So anyway, so that's our good old group of grade threes. Let's start out. All right, next is our good old blind grade twos. You got your four. Vanilla Legion predictors here. So 10k. If you read this flavor text, what does this flavor text say? It said, uh, the newcomers do not necessarily form a strong Legion. Bear in mind that the ancient dragons are powerful in any era. So Legion projecting right there. Well, um, don't forget also, very bad English. Super bad English. So yeah, we run three, uh, four of those because, you know, ancient dragons. <laughs> Pre Legion. <laughs> Pre Legion. Because uh, Tyrell Legend, you need to eat ancient dragons specifically. 
but for him uh, to break ride because it's a requirement to uh, eat two units to get the plus 10 to crit, 10 to crit, it's not required that they need to be ancient dragons. So basically, a lot of ancient deck, ah, a lot of units in the deck are ancient dragons because you need to be able to eat them for clutch turnalogy moments. So next up, we got those. We got our good old 12k attackers because these guys are awesome. And Beam Ankylo! I hope they get a 12k attacker in Legion Revival, so that'd be so cool. But no one cares. Yeah. I, I don't think he's going to get a 12k Legion, unfortunately. And last but not least, we run three of our tech card, of our tech grade three. Basically, when he attacks Vanguard, you can eat a unit, one of your buddies, and he gets plus 5k. So that combos with other things, and we'll get to that later, if you feel like. Well, yeah, of course, we're going to explain... Anno uh, annoying field formations, a few of them. Alright, so next up for the grade ones, we got our good old four blue dinosaur dudes. Parasol. Parasol are perfect guards because he's cool. Like and that. ancient dragons need to be ancient dragons. And ancient dragons, and he's only like six dollars, but our bird sucks. <laughs> Again, it's, that, that random clutch mode a special counter blast. That is true. And also, also I've, I've had to keep him sometimes for turn like we got our four 10k attackers because 10k attackers are triceratops, and triceratops are cool. Mm -hmm. Unicorn Thundersword power. We have our grade one version of our grade two dude. Basically, eat a unit, and uh, he gets plus 5k attacker, plus 5k power. So only when he attacks. Only when he attacks a vanguard. So it's too broken if it was for boosting. Technically, he'd be a 12k attacker, and he'd be a 14. Differences with the 7k boost, he's only hitting 19. With the 7k boost, he's hitting 21. So, the difference is in the numbers. And, last but not least, we have our good old buddy, Iguanagorg, which is the best card in the deck. Basically, when he's sent to the drop zone by any means, you can count blast one, and you can place him anywhere on the field that you feel like. Field reformations, because they're fun. So, like we'll get into later, you can um, uh, basically recycle columns with Terrell Legend, because he'll eat them, and they'll come back as stand instead of rest. Like, let's say you boost with it, or you attack with, like, two of them or whatever, and you turn around legend and you eat them. When you respawn them, they come back in the form of full column, because they're cool like that. Problem is, they never get into my hand often enough, but when they do, the, the destruction is, is real. D didn't you give all four of them in the damage zone one time and you cried? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, that got me so sad. No, it was, it was like two or three. But when you get three of them out, I call it Hooper Squad, because it's just, it's just, they get mad money. Well, they cost mad money because you just lose your counter blast. It's so useful. And finally. And final triggers. You guys know what the heal triggers deal is. We got our four draw triggers for, you know, ancient dragons. And a lot of people seem like to run six draw, six crit, but I think that the deck has enough draw power. If we do, we run, just for variety, the four ancient dragon. Wait, Dino, because Dino Dial. Dino Dial, and then we got the two other random ones. This one's effect is useful, useless, this one's just a 5k vanilla attacker, vanilla crit trigger. And him, this is the most clutch card in the deck, because you can put him into your soul from your guard circle and unflip a counter blast. So, if you're about to lose, he's like your best clutch friend. This is probably, this is the best effect. And his flavor card. text. Hey, what is his flavor text? Uh, gulp? Don't even think about getting it back. <laughs> Completely out of context. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's the, the deck that I've been running with. I find the 8 crit definitely helps a lot more, especially since you have people acting really annoying and running like 16 crit decks and like stupid amounts of crits just letting the deck, you know, run itself. The drive checks win the game instead of you actually winning the game. So and it's like you kind of need to do it to compete with them, but it's annoying. And now the fun part. Field formation. What you do for, to annoy people. All right. We'll do that. We're gonna transition right here, and we're back. And this is basically um, uh, the field that I try and aim for completely, just you know, for the hell of it, because this this is basically the best optimal field that you get to do the most damage in one particular turn. Let's say your opponent is at like five damage or four damage or something, or you couldn't get the break ride out early enough because the break ride adds the crit. You want to swing with that first usually and get that done like when they're at limit break, this way you can apply early vanguard pressure. So basically, here's how it works. Basically, break ride effect. Break ride into your good old buddy, Tyranno Legend. His effect, kill two things, well, eat two things. Om nom. Om nom. Draw two cards. Flip two. Flip two, and bring them back. So basically, you just plus two for free. 
But this is the best case scenario for saying that you already had the field set up and whatnot, and so you're good. Here's how it works. 10k to crit. He's going to be 21k to crit. With the boost, that's going to be 28k to crit. So what do you do? You, only, you want to swing with that first, because you're cool like that. You're like, alright, cool, whatever. Actually, well, no, you wouldn't want to swing with that first. Let's say that they're at a bit higher damage. Let's say, you're, let's say you're, you're, you had a late final turn. Yeah, you had a late final turn or whatever. Alright. Attack, boost. This is 16. Use his effect. Kill. Count blast. Bring him back. This is 21k column. Attack. Kill. Count blast. Bring him back. Another 21k column. Attack. Now, what we got here is going to be 38k. No, 28k with two crits. Then you have another column to put your thing. Yeah, you're at 38k because his 10k crit plus one. Oh, yeah, this is the this is best case scenario when you do the effect. Okay, thing. Twin drive. Whatever. You put all effects on the rear guard column. And then they swing. So basically, you can do a lot of damage in one turn with this, you know, build and stuff. Not necessarily this combo, because there are a lot of fun early game things that you can do with this sub uh, with this deck. Oop. One of my favorite Sorry early about game that, I bumped my camera. <laughs> one of my favorite early game things to do is I guess one of the fun early game things you can do when you ride to turn two. Basically, all it needs is this guy, basically any grade two. And if you really want it, this basically tops off the turn. This tops off the turn, basically, if you get a, any booster of any kind. So what you do, normally, is right here, put that there, and then put this here. Basically, swing, blah, blah, Drive check. Drive check, nothing, cool, as usual. He swings, kind of last one, you kill your baby. Hang on, I have it over here. Everybody. You search your deck for a uh, ancient dragon to our legend. Summon into the field. This is basically going to swing 14. <laughs> then you have an 11k attack, and if you have a booster, that's basically an 18k attack. That can push your opponent to like three damage or, or four damage very early on, depending on what you get in your drive check. And how and what they had in their hand previously. Mm -hmm. Because by turn two, they usually don't have a lot of triggers. They don't have a lot to guard with. Even then, you gain a significant early advantage, and that's really hard to come back from. Because either you minus their hand hardcore, because they did have the stuff to guard with it, or you put them in, in for damage on turn two, which no one likes, unless you're Link Joker. I mean, even then, if you, you just ride in the Chaos Breaker or whatever, and you have like a card in your hand, that's really not going to help you as much. Fair enough. It depends what position you're in when you give them an early limb break. If you give them a super early limb break, they're kind of screwed, but... If you give them a good... Uh, we'll, we'll, get to, we'll get to that in another video. Yeah. So, let's go. There are a couple of combos. It basically revolves around, you know, doing stupid things with uh, retiring your rear guards and making new columns and set, like sacking your grade threes. Like, for example, if you have a grade three on your field, it's sometimes it's better to kill the grade three and get the extra 5k guard. I mean, it all depends on the situation you're in and what you honestly see. Like, definitely, what's it called? Like setting things, certain things up, leaving certain things unboosted. Like one of his fun things he likes to do is he'll pressure the opponent by putting this in the front with something back there boosting it. This way you can attack this, or you can just put one of these in the front row because they can attack it. Basically, they're wasting attack, but you're losing a counter blast. Well, and they're, you can they're put it back in the back row. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that to put a Tyranno Legend right in the front, right in front of it if they killed it, and they just gave you a free a grade three for free. If you had the counter blasts for I mean, it, it's always fun to. to what's it called? It's always fun to like break ride and kill off these guys, bring them back, and then get a free column. Or you can do all kinds of stupid things. Like let's say you have this in the back row, you can retire it to call something, and then counter blast one because he was at the drop zone. You can like special summon this. So you're basically opening a can of instant column if you feel like it. If you do it smart. But that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, personally, I actually I, I do love the Ancient Dragons. It's sad that they kind of died real fast. They only got like one set of pop of power, and then they kind of died down. But of course, with with new sets coming out, especially especially one that we'll talk about a little later, they get a they're gonna get a lot more power real soon. Oh, the new stuff is so stupid. Well, we'll talk about that though in another video. So this is Card Fight Destiny. Peace.